If this were a B horror movie instead of a news story, we might title it The Vine That Ate the South. Native to the Orient, kudzu was introduced to the U.S. in the 1800s because someone must have thought it was pretty. Boy, did it take. Kudzu now covers 7 million acres in the southeast and grows about a foot a day when conditions are right. It's in an area that's, uh, that's out of its native uh, origin, therefore it has no natural predators. We have a long growing season, usually we have plenty of rainfall during the summer, there's no disease or insect pests uh, to, to keep it regulated, so it flourishes. UT's Dr. Neil Rhodes says the main problem with kudzu is it chokes other vegetation by blocking sunlight. It's hard to get rid of because it often grows in hard to reach places, like this 200 foot hillside near downtown Knoxville. You can turn livestock loose on it or spray chemicals to kill it. At best, we might think of that old sports cliche about a star opposing basketball player. We can't stop him, we can only hope to contain him. Kudzu is a lot like that. A lot of times it boils down to, from a practicality standpoint, a program just of abatement, whereby you would make a spray application just to kind of keep it knocked back, to keep it from invading un un unaffected areas. Uh, the plant will not survive cultivation. Kudzu will grow just about anywhere, but it really thrives where the summers are hot, the winters are mild, and the soil isn't too sandy. Sound familiar? Most of Tennessee is kudzu central. Kudzu is mostly found along roadways or at the edge of forest, but it can infringe on horticulture and landscaping. So it can become a major homeowner problem um, because you're constantly having to hit that with herbicide because there's really no other way to get rid of it. On the upside, kudzu does prevent some soil erosion and may one day even be used for biofuel production. But for now, across Tennessee, kudzu grows and grows and grows, and there's not a lot we can do about it. I think we need to take eradication, at least on a broad scale, I think we need to take eradication out of our vocabulary because it is well, well established. In some areas, it's just impractical. Uh, or horrifically expensive to do anything about. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to live with some of it. This is Chuck Denny reporting.